I'm feeling super excited. It's been a, such a long time coming and we've been preparing for this for such a long time and just can't wait to marry the love of my life. I'm thinking about Mark seeing me for the first time in my dress. I don't think he's gonna expect me to be in the style of dress that I'm gonna be in. I'm thinking about my dad giving me that last hug before he gives me away. Me and my dad are really close, so I think that'll be a nice moment for us. I'm thinking about my grandma and that she's gonna be watching over me. to seeing her come down the aisle in her dress. I think she's definitely gonna tear up a little bit, or a lot. Well, we've known each other ever since we were young. Well, I was born and raised in the Crows Nest Pass, but I started going to school here when I was nine. So we've known of each other since we were nine, but we didn't start becoming close friends until we were 17. I thought she was good looking and she had an excellent personality and we really just clicked as friends. It was when he was getting his award for golf and he must have hit a big spurt of puberty over the summer because he didn't look like that when we left the year prior. I asked him to go to grad with me, that's when we became friends and then yeah, a couple months later is when he asked me out. Her and I actually got to go down the march together, together first of our class, and we kind of just looked over at each other and kind of knew we were the one for each other, I think, when we were you know, back just 17 years old. I went to my grandma and I said, Mom, I'm dating this boy, his name's Mark Shara. And she said, you gonna marry him? And I was like, well, Mom, I've only been with him for a couple weeks, I don't know put up with me for five years, I'll marry him. And a couple months short of our five year anniversary, he proposed to me. The love of my life. We built our relationship around being each other's best friends and still continue to do that every day from long drives and time to kill with our Tim Hortons, floating on Allison Lake, or sneaking a few Netflix shows in between our shifts, we always wanted to spend as much time with each other as we possibly could. I promise to always love and respect you for the rest of my life. My grandma used to have this little boy that she really liked back in Italy, but her parents didn't want her to meet, marry him. And she always kept a little picture of him in her childhood Bible. and. When Mark was around for a couple months, she pulled that Bible up and showed me that little boy that was in her Bible. And she said, Mark reminds me just like him. I think he's the person that you need to marry one day. She's just a big heart and will always make sure someone has a place to sleep or they're fed. And just, she gets it from her grandma and from, you know, raising her and, and couldn't be more thankful to have her as my partner. Dear Marco, today is the day I finally get to marry my best friend. You have always been everything I am not, and I cannot wait to take on life's adventure with you. I promise to always support you in accomplishing all your goals and your aspirations, and we will rock at this life together. I know it. Love, Maddie. You can turn whenever you're ready. I love her personality. I love, I love how much drive she has. I just love how much of a big heart she has. She's, she's always so caring about everybody around her and myself and herself even too. And sometimes I even say that she's too nice for her own good. <laughs> he has some of the most patience I've ever seen because I can live in a world of havoc and he's the person that can sit down with me and calm me down and make sure that I'm, I'm okay. I 
love you so much, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Well, Marco Polo, <laughs> I love you, and thank you for always being there for me when I always needed somebody to pick me up. Right here on this ground where we are standing, holding dreams with open hands against the sky. So clear, it's better than. So we all know that you and Maddie are high school sweethearts, and I think I've identified the exact moment she stole your heart. Maddie made this poster for Mark when they were 16, 15 years old, and he has kept it ever since. It's always in his closet. And she said he was the Italian stallion, number 24 on the field, number one in her heart. <laughs> on this day, we are not losing a son, but gaining a daughter-in-law. It seems funny to do a speech to welcome Maddie to our family because in her heart, she has been part of our family for six years. Mark, I am confident that you will take care of Madeline. You have been a wonderful addition to this family, and since day one, my impression of you has not changed. Thank you for treating Madeline like gold. I know deep in my heart that you are the perfect match. Take you, Madeline, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Madeline, take you, Mark, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. The story comes together. I present to you the newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Madeline Shara. Congratulations, and I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. Cheers. Good job. Good job.